We are at Carson Antiques and Collectibles. Thought we would get one more little trip into the antique world here in Northern Nevada. And uh, we have no idea what we're gonna find inside, but we're gonna give it a go. So we're gonna get shop done. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Hi. I'm ready to spend some money. Thank you so much. Oh, see, right off the bat, Gary can use his new uh, little thing. Oh, look at these Romley Circus Elephants. Oh, those are amazing. I love them. Oh, what are these old guys? I don't know if you can see them there. I'm the salt in your stew. <laughs> and I can't read the other one. Are they salt and pepper shakers? I don't see holes on the top. I don't either. Yes, I do. They are. Oh. They're salt and peppers. Oh. Look at these birds. Oh my goodness, those are so sweet. Mm. All right, first booth in. I'm already loving it. Looks like there's going to be quite a variety of stuff here. Game of Thrones Monopoly. I mean, there you go. <gasps> Look at the little Robin costume. Gee golly, Willikers, Batman. <laughs> oh. Do we have room? <laughs> we'll make room if you buy that. Wow. That's really gorgeous. 25% off everything except for firm items. And he would have held salt and peppers. Oh, everybody's been waiting for your Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Set of three for $40. So it would technically be $30. Toy sketches? Pasadena, California. Yeah, is this part of the 25% off? Except for firm. Does it say firm? It does not say firm that I... Oh, clay stitches is what it says. Oh. Well, let's find out because... Ten dollars each is a really good price on those puppies. Huh. And I literally mean puppies this time. Look at this. Forty-nine dollars. It's the display with all of these little I've never heard of these. It looks like I see a remnant like they were like three or four dollars each at some point. Oh, those are fantastic, though. I love them. Oh, wow. They must make these. They're beautiful. Jewels. Oh, he's cute. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Now, it's been my experience in when I go into an antique mall that the prices at the front of the mall are going to generally be higher um, because they get more customers they 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 just have more um, what's the word like motivation to price higher whereas at the back we have to entice people back there so they tend to price lower Are they show? Oh, they're Harrah's stir sticks. Little, are they tiki's? I think they're tiki's. Little appetizer cocktail 
picks. Oh, he's a, he's a hoot. hoot. <laughs> Yeah, there's some really nice things in here. There's a treasure craft. Treasure craft, yes. A SeaWorld souvenir. Eighteen dollars. Did you see the turtle? Oh, it was behind the lamp. No, I missed it. Oh, he's pretty. It's a sea turtle, though. I, I don't want to make sea turtles feel bad, but I can leave sea turtles behind. My focus is more on tortoises. Watch the anchor there on the floor. That would not feel good on an ankle. Wow. It is gorgeous designs. They're doing this, uh, trying to look like they're in the style of Carlos Moretti with the case with the white on the inside, but when you get it in your hands, it's definitely not the same quality. Oh, little whale with a uh, controlled bubble, Bulacante. It's not signed, but it's done really nicely. Hopefully we find somebody having a really good sale in here. Two yellow cats, as is. How are you, as is? Gives you a really good price. That one's okay. Is that one got? Yeah, okay. He's got a little, little booger on his ear, but it's for the pair. Twelve dollar, twelve ninety nine for the pair. I can live with that. I can live with that. I think we'll pick those up. Let's see. What oh, look at this little miniature saddle. I wonder if that's made like for a specific toy horse or something. Or if it's more like a salesman sample. I don't think it's quality enough to be a salesman sample. It's really cute though. Oh, I see an Artisania Rinconata. $14.95. That's not a bad price. Not a bad price. It's not like a I must take you home price, though. This is... Oh, he's a bottle stopper. 1984. I can't read what it says. Something and dime. Oh, five and dime. Pretty little frosted glass rose bowls. Those are priced right about where I would uh, have them. Hear the ticking of a very loud clock. Oh, Todd, Todd, I Todd, put it that. 2001. Now, if you have a booth and you're selling in person, the best way to sell your clocks, have them running. It's actually very, very smart. Ooh, the art of violin. My hands are full. Okay, I have to go get rid of my cats. I'll be right back. <laughs> 15. That's not, that's not bad. Do I want to pay 15? I do love me some Wyland art. Oh, is that, I think that's the one. Where's the one in Laguna? I used to visit it all the time. Yeah, Laguna Beach. I, um, gosh, back in the 80s, I uh, would make my boyfriend take me to Laguna Beach just to go see this wall. In this picture, like these are parking spots. That's a huge van. The scope of this, it's almost life-size. 
it's it's ridiculously cool one of my favorite favorite things to just go and be mesmerized by and he has several of these wailing walls in different places do you he's, want to such a nice, he's such a nice guy too we went to a signing of his when he had a gallery at the venetian oh yeah. i do think i want to get this book this is for me though this is not for resale that's a cool macrame. I don't know. Is it technically macrame? There's not a whole lot of braiding going on. It's more just like a free flow kind of piece for $16.95. I'm going to recircle back to this case because I just realized it's got a 40% off on number 79. So it's 40% off over here. That changes things. <laughs> Let's see, does that price make sense at 40% off? Oh gosh, now I gotta do math. So that makes it like for $13 or $14? Something around there. I kind of think I want him at that price. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think we'll pick him up 40% off. Any littles in here? Oh, those are Betsy Johnson? Interesting. I'm not even sure what that is. Is it like a, a like a transistor radio tube? Down here, some jadeite. Yeah, I think they probably had the sale on for a little bit, and people have taken advantage and gotten some good stuff out of here. I mean, not that there's not good stuff in here still. It's just. It's none of that, you must take me home stuff. But wait, there's more. Let's see if we can find anything else. Like a horse for Rachel. You would only be $3. I got Rachel a lot of stuff on this trip. She might have to pare down her horse, her horse collection a little bit on this move. Seattle World's Fair. Would that have been like a little cigarette case? It looks like it, right? Oh, it would only be $3. I think I'll pick that up. That's a good little whatnot item. Look at this piece. What's the story it has to sell? Style built. Perfume bottle. As found, which means it has... It's probably because it's missing its stopper. I would turn this into a little vase. Not for a real flower because it's open on the inside, but pretty little fake flower in a bathroom. That'd be kind of cool. That's a baggie of like crafting pieces. Oh, that's a neat set of buttons. That's the, um, oh gosh, I forgot the name of End of the Trail. Is that what it is? End of the Trail? Is that what you're seeing? Or are you seeing a, a zebra being lifted by balloons? I don't know. I saw End of the Trail first. Yeah, it's zebra being lifted by balloons. Okay, it's zebra being lifted by balloons. Tells you how our brains work. I don't do real well on men's jewelry. I tend to just stay away from it. Unless I get it for, you know, really ridiculously low prices. That's an interesting pin. It almost looks like, like gold poured over a leaf. That is, like there's a lot of them. I think that's what these are. I think they're, um... And it just says leaf pendant, but I think they they dip them in gold. Or I mean, those are the real veins of the leaf in there. It's really pretty. Okay. Oh, I see glass. I see lots of glass. I see lots of pretty glass. See now, I was talking about this in a previous video, 
about the shine just not quite being right. And that leads me to believe this is a reproduction piece. It's just too shiny. It's also very, very cracked. It's a, it's a cool piece though. It's a frosted amberina. That's interesting. I love these Moroccan style lamps. The colors are so pretty. Little kitty cat made in Russia. Ah, it's that, um, I can never say it, Lamanasarov, something like that. It's 20 bucks though. We have to find another sale. But these salt and peppers, these are little stylized birds with love and joy. They are kind of sweet. I see me a, a hen on nest. Looks like an Indiana glass one. It's $38.50. Wait, dealer 74 is 30% off. This is so 30% off of $38.50. It's going to be... About $9 off? About $9. Yeah, 30 is still a little more than I can pay for it. Darn. More. Oh my gosh. I had those books. I don't know. That just triggered like some massive memory in my brain of those books being in my bookcase. That's crazy. It's crazy. This is appropriate for where we're at. Little gold panning. Pan. <laughs> gold panning pan. Yeah. I wonder how much of that stuff ends up in like these antique malls and stuff that people find when houses get cleaned out and stuff. Hey, that map of San Francisco, that definitely has some age on it. I don't see a print date. Schmidt Litho comp oh yeah, 1927? Wow. It doesn't look like a repro. That looks aged. That's kind of cool. Well, they want $1,500. Yes, must be the real thing. Giraffes. <gasps> Look at this guy. This cow trinket box. Moo. He's so simple, yet he's so cool. Oh, look, it's signed. It says cowboy. Cow box. I thought it said cowboy. It says cow box. It's $24.50. It is 30% off. So I know. $50 off. How do you do that math so fast? 10% is $2.45 is $2 times 3. Oh, I was trying to go like uh, 70 oh. times. Yeah, I like your way better. So it'd be like 14, 15 bucks for him. I think that's still a little more than I can do. A turtle coming out of a shell. That's really He's coming sweet. out of his shell? Yes. Cook company. So he's sixteen fifty minus thirty percent. It's the fifties that are throwing me. I'm $4. telling you right now. Cents. If I just say it was sixteen, yeah, I could get it a lot better. It'd be like, yeah, like twelve something. That's kind of nice. He has a sea turtle though. Remember what I said about sea turtles? I can leave them. So then I would say, could I buy this for resale? And make a profit. It says it's cultured ivory. <laughs> AKA resin. <laughs> I mean, it's true. But I like how they think. I like how they think. Mm. He's tugging at me a little too hard. That usually means I need to buy it. Look at these cute little puppies. Pincushion. Yeah, can't quite 
do that. I like this guy. Mm. Hello, kitty, 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 kitty. He looks very mid-century. See what you say. Yeah, you are a Napco wearer. 30. See, I can do that one. That's 21. That would be $21. And you know what I have to say about that. You know. He's a hoot. Oh, you're looking at the owls. I, w I thought we we're still looking at the cat. You confused me. There's all kinds of hoots. And you know, I'm looking at the parrot. Aww. I'm looking at the parrot. I don't need to accumulate more stuff right now, right before I move. I don't need to do it. I need to be careful. It kind of looks like a back room, but I see stuff priced. So I'm in Star Trek. See what we got? Oh, look at these little mice for three dollars. Are these part of a sale? I don't know. They are left in, and I say they because there's another one over here. That one's a kitty cat. Okay, this is cool. This one you can't see that it's left in anymore, but you can see this same mark here. You see the left in. So you can logically deduce that this is also left in, even though it doesn't say left in. I think I'll grab those. Those are, those are pretty cute. Those are pretty cute. Is that Donald Duck? I think it's Donald. It's one of the little plastic, those little acrylic ones we used to uh, pick up when we would go to Disneyland or very old 1877 book i feel like i shouldn't be touching it at all i feel like nobody should be touching it it's a tonala duck reina reina mexico the reina would be the the artist who did it it's not priced hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking up at this one that says pear. Could it be? Is it possible? No. I don't know. I think it was. You think so? The I two ducks so. together? It I says mean, pear. it does say pear. <gasps> I can go ask. I can go ask. I'm going to have to go offload again. That was originally twenty three, and now it's just five dollars pair. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. This is an interesting little creamer. It's rail and chain, circa nineteen twenty, two hundred and fiftieth anniversary, seventeen fifty one to two thousand one. So it's vintage, but it's celebrating the two hundred and fiftieth anniversary of something. And it's made in England. And so it's 30% off of eight. So it's only $5.60. I like it. I, I think I'm going to pick that up. It's like, this is a piece like we know it's a reproduction, but it's a vintage reproduction and it's cool. So I will go ahead and grab that. Okay. He's cool. He's really cool. Kentucky straight bourbon, Lionstone. I'm not one for like, tankards and decanters but i like this guy he has 35 dollars, but i like that guy if i found if i found him at a yard sale for five bucks i'd pick him up as probably did somebody who then brought it to the antique mall that's all this is this is just curated they've curated all this from the same places that we go shopping wow He's glass. He's cool. Oh, wow. Okay, if my mother watches this video, this right here is going to be a major memory trigger. So uh, her and my stepfather used to take the pictures out of this very uh, booklet and decoupage, I guess that's what it's called, onto um, 
like wood books. That's crazy that I just never, never even had that memory until I just saw these. That's, that's wild. Wild, wild. Like the wild, wild west. That's really cute. Oh my gosh. Look how adorable that is. Real cupies, not real cupies. Let's see. Show us your wings. <laughs> they are real. These are real cupies. Ooh, these are carved from obsidian. Man, prices are bit more than we can even even with a discount those prices are a little bit more than are comfortable for me to pay for resale Disneyland oh this is cool because they've got Disneyland and Disney World when are these made I want to say these are like 1970s Let's look at the rides and see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Well, Tomorrowland is like one of the keys. Still got the People Mover. People Mover's been gone since... Early 80s? Yeah, yeah. Railroad Station hasn't changed much. Jungle Book, still there. Dunking the Mayor. Oh, dunk that's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's still there. This scene, I don't think, has changed. Mark Twain Steamboat, still there. It's a small world, still there. Well, it's a small world means it's post-64 for sure. Oh, because they changed it to just small world? No, no, it's a small world opened in 64. Oh, oh well, gotcha, Fair. gotcha, gotcha. I st I'm still leaning towards 70s. Well, let's look at yeah. Walt Disney World. Now, I'm not as familiar with Walt Disney World. Well, it's definitely post-71 because that's when they opened yeah, so it still could be 70s, though. We got, you know, the monorail. We got main entrance, Jungle Book. That's the Hall of Presidents. Hall of Presidents. I don't know what that one is. Oh, that's Small World. And Steamboat. Yeah, it's like all the rides are still there, so it's really hard to say. But I d I'm, I'm going to stick with 70s on these. Pretty sure those were a 70s thing. These are quarry critters, I think. Yes, they are. Oh my goodness, piggy, piggy quarry critters. Oh, and he looks like Rio Hondo. But yeah, there it is. Little Rio Hondo dog. I don't know who you are. You're an interesting little, oh, he's a mouse. Look at his little tail. I don't know why I'm like so drawn to the little creatures. I just really am. Oh, well, look, little Star Trek uh, oh, badge buttons. Oh, oh you're going to get comments. You're going to get comments. Oh, God, what it just came out of my mouth. Star Wars, Star Wars. <laughs> I knew it. It just came out wrong. Okay. Sorry. Will, edit it out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and cars all right let's see what else we can find here's another room oh my the hooting in this place is just going on and on i've reached my <laughs> oh that's really pretty that's a really nice oil i like that Stone. A M Stone is what I think I see. Uh, they did a lot of this in the 70s. This this like a masonite kind of a board. I love all the little um measurement notes, like when they were framing it, you know, they're writing out all of the numbers on the back of the frame. So this frame was like custom made for this picture and that's beautiful. That's beautiful. They do want 175. It's kind of weird back here. I mean, it's open to us, so we're going to look. 
carnival glass. This older carnival glass with a amethyst base. Hmm. No prices though. There's no prices on these. And then here's one with a green base. But they are not priced. Yep. I was gonna say, yep. That's gonna be a glower. None of this is priced. Yeah, no prices. Hmm. Hmm. There's some interesting salt and peppers in there. Look at those little puppies. It's so quiet back here. I feel like I need to tiptoe. Look at these groovy lamps. Wowza. That's wood. And then there's like the see-through little candle bulbs. And that's an old plug. Those are fun. Now I know that's supposed to be a bird, but it looks like a porg. <laughs> and it was, I'm sure this was made way before porgs were a thing. But do you think they got the porg idea, you know, from a cute little bird with beady eyes? I kind of love him. He's only seven fifty. Is he a coconut shell? He's a coconut. Yes. <laughs> I kind of love it. Oh, and it's signed. Gar, Garimo Runus? I don't know, but I have to have him for $7.50. For sure. Is this Sasha? No, I feel like this is the... There's another artist that copies. Not copies, but is very similar to Sasha B. Also out of Alaska, and I feel like that's what this is. It says Matt... Matthew Adams. Matthew Adams. Slash yeah. Sasha Brastoff Bull. That's oh. what it says there. I wonder if he was or um, or broke away from Sasha Brastoff as an artist. Was, you know, there's always stories behind why somebody replicates another designer artist's things. <laughs> A baby picture. I don't know why. That's just that's just funny. I guess it wouldn't be funny to him that we're laughing at his baby picture. But... Powder jars. 22. Oh, this is an interesting booth. Pacheco. Hmm. It's all newer stuff and jewelry. And... Got a little steampunk vibe going. Steampunk cat. I saw him. He's cute. <laughs> do, 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 do. $278. That is cool, though. It's a tin box that these dyes would have come in. I love that. Vegas follows us everywhere. I get that for Noah. <laughs> it's made in Sweden. A little brio. He's such a sweet kid. He'll never tell me he doesn't really like something that I give him. But there are things where he's like, mm, don't really have room for that one, Mom. <laughs> it's his way of like, yeah, that's not really my thing. There's so much interesting stuff, but I'm, I'm really like trying to zero in on some just really, really good resale stuff. It is an ostrich egg painted into an eight ball. Oh, why, thank you. A basket. There we go. That, that's creative. 
recommended that you don't play pool with that. Oh, highly. Although an ostrich egg is so tough, you probably could. This, this poor guy met some untimely demise. He lost his head. He really did. Let's see. That's a cool fish. That was a lefton. It's twelve dollar no sale on this. Yeah, we got it's twenty percent off. So it's a couple bucks off. I don't know if he's ten dollars worth for me. He's leather wrapped. It's forty eight dollars. I like this bookcase too. Two ninety five. Do you think there's a ten under there? Ooh. Ooh. That's a that's a cool piece. That's a cool piece. Yes, I think there's I think there's a ten under there. And it's all decorated on the back side too. Wow. Look at this tray. Look how pretty that is. When I first saw it, I went home and I pretty Oh, Roadrunner finally did it. Finally did it. Meet me. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. It's oven mitts. Oh, wow. Daffy Duck cookie jar. That's cool. Little door knocker. What does that say? The old curiosity shop. Oh my gosh. Portsmouth's London. That's fun. I am looking for a name on these paperweights. Sometimes it can be on the bottom, but sometimes it can be around the bottom edge. Unfortunately, this has been dropped and has some internal damage. It's a cool piece, though. <gasps> Does that have a sea urchin in it? No, it's a thistle. Okay, that makes me feel better. Because here's the thing with sea urchins. When they, when they pass, all of their spines fall out. So you won't find a purple sea urchin unless, well, you get where I'm going. It's kind of cool. That might glow. If that is lucite, that would glow. Shall we see? Oh, look at that. It is lucite. Hmm. Do I want it now? It's twelve fifteen. No, nope, I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass it. <laughs> I am what I am. What I am. What I am. <laughs> oh, he's definitely not gonna be squeaking anymore. Forty dollars. I'm not gonna squeeze them too hard. Some cool cats. I sold one just like this. Oh, I really love where they uh, put the price tag. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, this is one of those ones that. Not really. Yeah. Little birds though. 12, 17, 5, yeah, and then sometimes I'll like get through a booth like this fairly quickly if I find that I'm just really not going to find anything in my 
reseller price range. That's a cool piece of... Oh, is it for both pieces because it broke off? They just call it a rock. But that is actually selenite. And it's a cool piece of selenite that I will get. See the end of trail. Now you see, mm -hmm. you see my confusion on that piece. You know, the horse kind of hunched over with the, with the Indian on top. That's how it works. I know there was a, a time I, I watched, there was people looking for these big Persian cats. I don't quite understand why or how much money they were or are bringing. But uh, I'm always like, when I see them, I'm like, oh yeah. And then I'm like, but I don't know why. So, interesting beaded thing. I should be looking at small stuff because I think our truck is uh, kind of full at this point. Aww. How sweet is he? Yes, we made a little Virginia City montage here. What is that? Wallace and Sons something. I'm not exactly sure how that signifies Virginia City, but... All right, now we have a larger dove. It's an El Palomar, which is Ken Edwards, actually. Although it's RS, so maybe it's not Ken Edwards. Interesting. He's 22. Oh, the jadeite. Jadeite's been heavily, heavily reproduced, and I am no expert on jadeite, so I tend to stay away from it. 35, a little orange jar. I like it. Oh, hello, bluebird of happiness. Who are you? You are... I don't even see the signature on it. It must be under the tape here. Hmm. That's odd because I don't see it's either Ron Ray or Leo Ward, and I don't I don't see a signature. Are my eyes fooling me? Huh. He's also got a broken beak. So we have to leave him behind. Let him bring somebody else some happiness. That's weird. I've never seen one that's not signed, though. These look Swedish. These little doves. There's two of them. I wish they were a color, though. It's Fido. Oh, he's cute. 1275. See, it's just it's just right at that point. I can't really do anything with it. I recently did a video where I explained the mathematics behind that and why I can't pay $12 for something I sell for 20 because you would think logically there's $8 spread in there. Uh, so I really went into that. So make sure you're subscribed and uh, you hit that little bell notification because I throw this info in there all the time. If you're a reseller, I try to help with the little tidbits I've learned over the years and, and how I do my business to help you build an online business. earrings and a pendant? I think so. That's kind of sweet for $8.75. It's been a really, really old little box too. I don't know what kind of stone that is, but I think, I think at nine bucks, I'll 
pretty safe at that. I like the little box, I'm going to tell you. It's the little box is uh, the, the decider for me on that. So we'll put those in our little basket. A little copper luster with this texture, like a, a sugaring, if you will. I don't know who made it. 875. See, that's probably like a 12 to 15 dollar piece. So the prices are good here, but as a reseller, it doesn't work. Toscana collection made in Italy. I'm a potter. <laughs> This is made by Jeremy Diller. Oh, I've sold Jeremy Diller before. They're asking $30. And you wouldn't know, looking at that signature, you would never know that that was Jeremy Diller. I, you couldn't even make that out. You just, it's one of those things you have to see a piece like this. That's why I love antique malls. See a piece like this with its original tag so you know for sure. And you go, ah, and then sock that in your memory banks. So the next one you find that has that you go oh yeah that's a jeremy diller those guys are cool also look like rio hondo it's ray it's ray manta hmm. are there any wool manta rays <laughs> good question Blue Sky Candy Dish. I'm seeing a lot of uh, Blue Sky items lately that are not like candle holders because that's what I know Blue Sky is. Yeah, put your little, yeah, oh, yo, there we go. How much is that? Is that only $6? I think it is. And Gary missed it? What? I haven't missed anything. Oh, I know, I saw it. I didn't miss it. It okay. blows for six dollars, and it's twenty percent off this booth. But we have so many plates. Yeah, we have a lot of plates. Well, then it's going in my cart. Well, there, we go. there we go. As soon as you lose, Gary. <laughs> These are not the right places for us to check this out. Yeah, I'll have Stan here. Here's another one of these Ron Lee elephants. This one's eighty-nine dollars. How magnificent is that? Oh, you're a beauty. I'll probably be doing a little research on these after the fact. I'm not going to buy them, but just to see if that would have been something I should have picked up. Vintage creamer with roses for $10. And 20% off. Oh, that's gorgeous. For $8. I think I will get that. Oh my gosh, look at this new old stock is what we call this. It's old. They don't make it like this anymore. And it's in its original packaging. I am always like just so fascinated by things like this because where are you going to find it? Where are you going to get it? At an antique mall. <laughs> Little old towel holders. Oh my gosh. 39 cent price tag. Yeah. Made in USA. Oh, wow. $14. Mm, that is cool. That is so cool. All this yellow. I've never been really attracted to the color yellow. It's not a color that uh, resonates with me. And that's okay. If you love it, love it. Love it like I love blue. I like this little little spinny display. I kind of want it. It's not for sale. Anything drawing me in? Oh, I just sold one of these. This is Avon. Obviously, it's a discontinued Avon. This is the um, Regency. And then there would be a pixie on a frog. Oh, he's $24. Pixies are like a big thing now. 
Oh, here's another idea to do with the little salt shakers. Uh, somebody made little button flowers. Yeah, there's another one. Very creative. This is what a sea urchin looks like when it passes away. They bloop all of their spines off. This booth has a lot of Fenton and a lot of Fenton that you don't typically see. Like, look at these. They are, uh, I think they call this a peach blow, even though it's pink, it's pink. It's always bugged me that they call it peach blow. Um, but there's, I don't think I've ever seen with like the clear crest at the top. Those are super interesting. And then the black, look at the black Fenton. Let's see what year that's from. That is an eight. So these are from the eighties. So if you look at the logo and you look at the little number that's right below the logo, I think they started with seven in the seventies. And so seven is seventies, eight is eighties, nine is nineties, zero is two thousands. And then I think they changed it again completely, but that can help you date, you know, the piece of Fenton. But that's uh a pretty piece, seventy dollars firm. Yeah. Also, never lift these old pieces by the handles, both on baskets and pitchers, uh, because what happens is this weakens over time, and it you never know when you're going to be the one to pick it up, and it goes, and you you don't want you don't want that you don't want that guilt living with you forever, never going away. Okay, maybe it goes away a little bit. These are Fenton also. Obalescent rib optic. Oh yeah, here. So these are, it says 95. So is that the year? So then it should have a nine. Yep, it's got the nine under there. Nice to find this stuff with the labels. I love that they have the labels. Oh, this is one of my favorite patterns. I used to have a whole set of this. Isn't it gorgeous? It's uh, swallows. It's Nippon. What do they have these priced at? They're calling a bluebird, but it's not. It's a swallow. Uh, $29.50 for the cup and saucer. Awesome. Yeah, the prices in this booth are a little, a little on the high side for me. For me. For what I'm looking for. What about that glows too? But it's not Vaseline glass. It's uranium glass. There is a difference. Oh, these remind me of those cups that used to make my teeth hurt. These aluminum. I don't think I ever saw the measuring spoons. It's kind of different. 1250. Yeah. Oh. No, they used to hurt my teeth really bad. Don't like them. Maybe that's why I'm not a metals person. Maybe that's why I like veer away from the metals. Because I feel it like I just, come on, somebody out there has to be with me on that. Like you just, you just feel it in your teeth. Ugh. Vintage seed water bird cage. Oh. No way. That's awesome. Would they work? I'm listening here like, would they work on our cages? Because I like the idea. The plastic ones are so hard to clean sufficiently. Glass would be so much easier to clean. Why don't we make them in glass anymore? Maybe somebody does. Maybe I have to do a little digging and find glass ones. This is another glass birdcage feeder. What does it say? Hendrix. Wow, I didn't even know this existed. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little, I'm gonna have to do a little digging on that. Because we have a we have a lot of bird cages to clean and feed and water. <laughs> All right, I just I've talked about this a lot. If you guys follow my lives that I do, 
I talk about my little plastic animals a lot. So um, these, these are some of them. I had many, but these are some of them. Uh, and so I just want you to know if you ever spot these in the thrift stores and yard sales and such, they have value. Look at this, three of these for almost 10 bucks. And yes, people will pay it. I have these ones. Um, otherwise I, I would pay, I would pay the 10 bucks all day long for those to recreate my little childhood thing. Now, some of the stuff you think may not have any value is surprising. That is what is so fun about this business. Some of the littlest things can have the most value. I think that would have held a, like a little camera something. Star Trek. No? Is that Star Wars too? Yep. Oh, I am failing bad today. The comments are coming. <laughs> I got a long ride home with you. <laughs> little sweet grass basket. It's nice. But I really came over here for these. Oh, I'm, I, it's terrible. Okay, nobody tell her I'm saying this, but I'm kind of hoping the prices are not like irresistible because her shelf is stuffed with her briars. But I can't resist a, a, you know, a briar at a good price either. So these are all about $30, $35. Good price, but not like irresistible. I must take them home price. Uh, but let's see what Mr. Celery is. It reminds me of the tree at the Tiki Room. Mm. 22. It's two-sided. Oh, you're fun. You're Saddler. Oh. The gods are angry by all our celebrating. Is there a discount on this booth? Darn it. No. I love this. I love this so much. What do I do? I'm going to look him up. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe he's, maybe he's worth picking up for $22. I doubt it, but we'll see. No, 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 he's not. Now these are asking prices. Um, let's look at sold. Yeah, that's, um, he's, he's a little overpriced for where he's at. Yeah. Well, he's fun. Oh, that's really pretty. Prod, Predicio, looks Russian. Oh yeah, it does look Russian too. Oh wow, it's painted on the inside too. $18. I'm kind of, uh, kind of enamored with that, but I can't, I can't get enough for it to justify paying 18. I wish it was eight. I wish it was eight. So you were thinking da, but you went yet. Yeah. Yeah. What he said. That's an old painting of Dog Patch. Is this 1950? Hmm. I like that. I really like that. But no. Nope. 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 Can't do it. Oh. Wow. That. Your price is on the back. Let's see. 165. It says it is signed. Okay, I'm going to be really, really careful. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Oh, it's signed. Large crystal bird. Oh, it's under there. Can you see my arm shaking? It's, I can't read it. It's really heavy. Yeah, it's I can't read it. Yeah, it's really, really hard to read. But it is signed. I might have it backwards, too. No. All right, that's it. That's all your peek into the signature. Oh, my goodness, that's heavy. Wow, was that? It's gorgeous. Rad. Rask. Balsite? Calcite? That's what they're calling that. It's plastic. It's not stone. It's plastic trying to look like it's cool stone would be cool to the touch 
Those are fun. Look at that. The big old cows on them. I wonder who makes these. What are they? Ten dollars a glass. <laughs> That's Frank Coma. I know that. We got some neat things. Some super neat things. There's an enamel over copper. And that is the maker's mark. You would have to do a little research and figure out who did that mark. But some of these can be worth hundreds of dollars. I know because I sold some. Oh, Snow White. She's very sweet. Or should I say, oh, Cinderella. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, a case full of lots of little stuff. But I think it's time that we need to get on the road. So I need to go check out so uh, we can get home and start selling this stuff. something so cool about shopping at an antique mall. I know it. there's like different schools of thoughts between resellers about, you know, oh, you know, all the stuff's already been looked up and it's curated, but I've literally just found, I don't know, how many items that I can turn around and flip for a healthy profit. Because you have to remember, not everybody knows everything about everything and you don't know the motivation behind how people price and so there are tremendous deals to be made. But more importantly, I use an antique mall as a way to just learn new things, pick up new things, feel new things, smell new things, you know, get some more of that knowledge in my brain. So then when I am out at yard sales or Goodwill or places where the stuff isn't identified and curated, I will like, oh yeah, I remember seeing that at the antique mall. They had like $125 on it. So you can store that stuff in your memory banks, use it when you're out in the wild and become an even better reseller of this type of thing. So uh, with that, we're heading home. You go be profitable and make it fun. <music>